So I have her in here just because she's rehabbing from a minor pasture incident. Um, normally she's kind of a sensitive red-headed mare anyways. So the head flipping goes from um, just kind of trying to get your head out of the way the flies or get the flies off to sort of a hysteria of, um, I mean, butterflies shadows going by literally. Like it sounds like a joke, but it's not. Um, and when, and so even with this mask on, it wasn't good enough. So this is the solution that I came up with for the head flipping from the flies because she was getting extremely dramatic with it. Um, she was flinging her head. She was getting to where wind was bothering her and shadows because it was like an anticipation thing that she was going to get hit in the nose. And to be honest, I totally understand because the gnats right now are flying in my mouth while I speak and they hit me in the eyes and the, and the ears and I don't like it either. So I totally understand where she's coming from. Um, but it does make her difficult to handle and it's sort of a dangerous situation where she wasn't safe to ride or to handle. And so you can see I've got the Cashel fly mask for her head. Um, I bought this for her neck and that's really helped as well. But she still had her nose area open and so what I came up with is um, a pair of pantyhose and I cut the legs off and tied a little knot to keep the bugs from coming in the bottom. And fortunately, she wears um, a flash. This is actually a Miklum, and I just slip it up over the top and under. Um, she wears a fuzzy too, so it makes a nice big stop. And it stops the bugs from being able to hit her in the face. She doesn't feel them as well. Now, she does fuss and drool into it, and it gets completely disgusting by the end, but it's stopped her flipping her head and she's back to being calm and safe to work she's much calmer to handle and lead and um, she's not dangerous the way she was so it's been a really great solution for us